This video is a slow flow yoga class. Hi, my name is Jesse, and today we're going to be doing a shorter, slow yoga sequence that you can just flow right through. To begin, we can just sit comfortably on our mat. We can put our hands on our knees, and we're going to start by sitting up nice and tall. You can sit with your legs crossed, and we're going to separate the movement between our lower spine and our upper spine. So to begin, we can just segment the low back, sit up as tall as you can, and take the stomach area, the abdominal region, and just pull it in, bring it back, pull it forward, bring it back. Just moving that area. Pull it in, bring it back. A couple more times. Good job. Next, we're just going to separate the rib cage area. So from the rib cage to the shoulders, we can put our hands on our shoulders. This is similar to a seated cat cow, but not quite. So we want to bring the chest forward, bring the shoulder blades together. You can let the head fall back. And then bring the chin to the chest, just bring the rib cage back. Forward and back. Come forward and back. Come forward and back. Forward and back. One more time. Just bring the shoulders back and forward. Good job. Well done. And the next thing that we're going to do is just come onto our hands and knees, hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. And a really good way to warm up the spine is to just move from side to side so we can drop the hips down to the left side, turn the head and shoulders to the right side. Just going back and forth, back and forth. Just move with the breath. Make the movements as subtle or dramatic as you want. You can activate, go to a plank position, and if you want, you can Lower your hips down to the left side. Engage the abdominal, engage the obliques, come back up. Go down to the right side. Couple more times, one on each side. Good job, come back to center. Center the hands under the shoulders, the knees under the hips. And on the exhale, we can just bring the knee up towards the nose, round the spine. Inhale, just lift that leg up, lift the head. Try to keep the hips somewhat level with the floor. Exhale, bring the knee to the nose. Inhale, come back up. Two more times on the right side. Inhale, come back up. And again. Inhale, come back up. Good job, switch sides. Exhale, take that left knee to the nose, arch the spine on the exhale. Inhale, lift that leg, try to keep the hips somewhat level. Again. Inhale, come up, exhale, again, move with the breath. Inhale, up, and exhale. Inhale, up. Once we come to center, we are going to do the spinal balance or a modified version of it. So stretch the left leg out, spin the pinky toes down, stretch the right arm out. 
You can either reach through the heel, pull the toes in towards you, bring the elbow and the knee together. Lengthen through. Again, exhale, bring the elbow and the knee together. Lengthen through. If you would like a little bit more of a challenge, you can do it all on one side, where you stretch out the right leg and the right arm. Exhale, bring the elbow and knee together. Reach through on your in-breath. Exhale, bring the elbow and knee together. Reach through on your in-breath. Again, if you want, you can add something fancy. Push the top of the foot into the hand. Stretch back out, just about lose it on the ground. Exhale, reach out, push the top of the foot into the hand. This can also be done if you're doing the opposite side. You can lift up that left leg, bend it, reach back, grab the top of the foot, push the top of the foot into the hand. Bring the left shoulder forward, the right shoulder back. Come back to center. Left arm, right leg. Spin the pinky toe down, reach through the heel, pull the toes in towards you. Exhale, bring the elbow and knee together, engage the core. Inhale, lengthen back through. Exhale, bring the elbow and knee together. Lengthen back through. Or, if you like, stay on the right side. Stretch out the left leg, left arm. Exhale, bring the elbow and knee together. Keep the core engaged. Reach back through. This will work your obliques. Three, if you want it. Reach back, circle the arm around, push the top of the foot into the hand. Maybe lengthen back through. Again, grab the top of the foot, just push the top of the foot into the hand, come back to center. Good job. Next, we can just line up for downward facing dog. We're going to tuck the toes under, bring the hips up, shoulders down. Let the head hang heavy. Pedal the feet back and forth. Draw the ribs in, push the shoulders down. Lift the right leg up. Bend it, stack the right hip on top of the left one. Look up past that right arm. Circle the ankle. Reverse. Good job, set that foot back down. Lift the left leg up. Bend the left leg. Circle the ankle. Reverse. Good job. Make your way to plank or kneeling plank. Squeeze the elbows into the sides, relax the shoulders. Slowly. Bring yourself down to Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale up to Up Dog. Have all ten toes pushed into the mat. Let the head fall back. Shoulder blades come back. Make your way to Down Dog. Just step the right foot forward. Come up to Warrior One. Fix your shirt. Bend that right knee, have the knee open so that it's right over the ankle. You should be able to see your big toe line up with the short side of the mat. Arms come up. Just make your way to warrior one. Arms up to line up with the ears. Have your knee right over your ankle. You should be able to see your big toe. Have the outside edge of this left leg just really reaching through lifting up the arch of your foot. Turn to line up with the long edge of the mat, going to warrior two. Double check your knee, it tends to track in, make sure that it's nice and open. Pull the pelvis in, stack up the spine, relax the shoulders, lengthen through the fingertips, bring them together, kind of sliding the shoulder blades down the spine. Straighten the right leg, activate the quadricep muscle, kneecap goes towards the ceiling, 
without shifting the hips, just bring yourself to triangle pose. Sliding that right hand down the right leg, right shoulder comes forward, left shoulder comes back. Look up at the left hand if that helps. Exhale, drop that hand down, just fold forward over that right leg. Relax and release into the pose on your exhale. Bend the leg, both hands come to the floor, step the right foot back. Just make your way back to down dog. Pedal the feet back and forth, bend one leg as you straighten the other. Hips come up, shoulders come down. Come to plank or kneeling plank. Reach back through the heels, lift the hips a little bit, relax the shoulders. Exhale down for Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale up to up dog. Have the toes pointed back behind you. Shoulders come back, head falls back. Tuck your toes under back to down dog. Hips up, shoulders down. Step that left foot forward. Set it down between your hands. Arms come up to line up with the ears. Bring the left shoulder forward, the right shoulder back. Lunge into the pose. Trying to line up with the long edge of the mat. Really reach through the outside edge of that right foot. Make sure your knees open, pull the pelvis in, stack up the spine. People tend to lean forward in the pose. If you feel like you're doing that, pull yourself back. Shoulder blades come back, reach through the fingertips. Straighten the leg, activate the quadricep muscle. Kneecap comes towards the ceiling. Just slide that hand on down the leg on your exhale. Left shoulder comes forward, right shoulder comes back. Maybe bringing your fingertips to the floor. Just drop that right hand down, fold forward over the left leg. Good job, walk yourself back up. Walk your feet together to the front of the mat. On the in-breath, we can bring our arms up, lean back, exhale, hinge from the hips, fold forward. Come up halfway, lift and lengthen. Bring the shoulder blades together. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, bring your arms up. Hands to prayer position. Exhale, just bring them to heart center. On the next in-breath, come up, reach through the fingertips, exhale, hinge from the hips, fold, fold, forward. Place your hands on the mat and then just step back, coming down onto your hands and knees. Next, we want to come down onto our forearms and we're going to just walk the hands out, making our way to puppy pose. Walk the hands out, bring the forehead to the floor. Just let the shoulders relax and release to the floor. Inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose. Take the palm of the left hand, turn it up. Lace it under that right arm, pull the right hip. Adjust your knees if you feel like your knees are not over under your hips. So a modification of this pose, if it doesn't feel good, is to bend your arm or even to bring your hips down to your heels. Arm stretched out. Good job. Come back up. Back to puppy pose. Forehead to the mat, arms are stretched out. Line the hips up with the short side of the mat. Turn the palm of the right hand up. Just thread it underneath that left arm. 
pull the left hip back. Slowly come back to center. Walk the hands back towards you. Just come down to a comfortable seated position. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you like this video, please feel free to like, subscribe, share, and check me out on Instagram. Until next time, may love and light be yours. Namaste.